Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is input? Is x down? Now the input is x down. Basically, is going to be a few different nodes that refer to the different modifier keys. So if I type in is down under the input events, we're going to find a whole bunch of them, and they'll cover all of our modifier keys: the Alt keys, Control keys, Shift keys, and the Command key if you're on a Macintosh. And it's going to cover the individual versions as well, such as the right shift or the left shift, in addition to just shift itself. So what would we use these for? Well, if I run my example and I push a key, and let's try running the example again, there we go, and I push a key, what you're going to see is the letter I'm pushing. So as I type on the keyboard, we'll see the different letters. And then you're also seeing the state of the shift key. Right now the shift key is up. If I hold down the shift key, and I start pushing buttons, you'll note it tells me shift is down. If I let go of shift and start pushing buttons, you'll note shift is up. So that's it. It's basically a Boolean state on an input event that tells me whether is x down. And it'll tell me true or false. Now getting the input event itself is a little bit tricky. You can't really just get an input event by itself. You need to get it from something else. So that's something that takes a little bit of time. If you look for input event, you'll notice you have the different ways of getting it. You can get it from the character, the controller, a key event, which I'm doing in this case, pointer event, a navigation event. So that's how you get it. You have to get it from another event for a type of input, such as if your character takes input or your mouse or your keys are taking input. In this case, I'm overriding the on key down, getting my key event, using the get input from key event, and then this will give me my input event I need for the shift down. Because if we, for example, do is alt down, and we hooked it up by itself, it's going to give you an error when we compile and ask you for an input event structure. So in this case, I use the key event, converted it to an input event using the get key input from analog input. Well, not wrong one. Let's try that the other way. Like this key event, get input, get input event from key event. And that gives me my input event that I use right here. And that's the alt. So if I ran this, for example, and I hit that, you'll notice it says shift is down, but that's because I haven't changed the text. It's actually referring to the alt key. I'm using a select node in order to actually do it true or false in a little bit better fashion. So that's it. That is going to be your is x down. It covers all of your modifier keys, whether you're on a PC or a Macintosh. Remember, you need an input event structure. Most of the time you'll get them by breaking apart a different event. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.